Hey guys, we'll go back to another one of my videos today. You might be noticing that I have like a different background. Like for this thing around the video. I found out some new features of my recording studio and just decided to try them out. Tell me in the comment section below if you like this. Also, before we begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's get to 40 subscribers um, as, as fast as we can. Also, if you are subscribed, be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you never ever miss a video. Like the video and comment down below. Have you seen this movie? Have you not? And what do you think about this movie overall? So yeah, um, yeah, let's get started. So today I'm going to be discussing why Moonrise Kingdom is an absolute masterpiece. And so yeah, let's begin. So Wes Anderson is known for his artistic style, a style in movie making. Like from the Grand Budapest Hotel to Bottle Rocket to Rushmore, uh, from Fantastic Mr. Fox and um, I.L. Docs, which are the ones that I have heard of and probably seen, and um, yeah, and his most famous. And he also likes to do like 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 symmetrical lines of people, of like putting them together and like having them in like a perfectly symmetrical line like all together and also he likes to do quick and fast um talking like two scissors one paper like you know very quick like doing that very quickly dialogue so quick dialogue and catchy dialogue but in this movie it's something i've never really seen it in the movie um in the grand budapest hotel it's an amazing movie and i think you should check it out but in here i think wes anderson really put his creativity in full power because not it just it's not just colorful which is probably one is probably one of the reasons why this movie is so perfectly done it's so colorful the camera movements are fantastic and overall the whole movie looks very beautiful um but he chooses to do this in a year that is like 1965 which is like how many years is that like um like like 55 years 55 i'm not sure i'm not really good with math who knows i'm not sure but i think it is um uh, it to choose a movie that takes place back then is very tricky because there's a lot of movies that take place during that time that are have like a small like if you like a small setting but this movie takes place on an island Rhode island to be more specific he shot this on Rhode um island and the way he did the colors, it just like you can re it, the reds pop out, the greens pop out. The scenery looks amazing in this movie, like the wildlife and landscape, and and so does everything here. Um, but uh, let's put that aside and just look at the main story. The story is about these two kids who run away from home and try to survive in the wilderness who like each other. Now there are many movies, like I said in my movie review, that have tried to attempt this kind of formula movie and have failed but with Wes Anderson he always finds a very creative way to succeed in the way of movie making that he does and he does really do he puts a very tricky subject and makes it work perfectly and for me this is the perfect kind of like rom-com movie besides Amelie because Amelie is a perfect example of a creative and well written very done and very well acted rom-com movie this is basically the same and this is probably why it's one of my favorite movies it is really good i honestly found no flaws in it the story is interesting there's no dull moments in the entire movie um extremely entertaining the acting by everybody is really good there's a good physical and like physical acting which is not really that easy to do and vocabulary acting like there's some stuff by bill murray that he just says but it wouldn't be some funny if he didn't say it that way um bruce willis um as a serious kind of action hero actor he does a really good job in comedy and um uh, yes and uh edward norton is great actor you know fight, fight club and the italian job and all those movies he has been does it absolutely great job and i truly love this movie it's it's an incredible movie it i like how it deals with like you know surviving in the wilderness and not getting caught and all these situations just put very nicely together and that's why i think it is a masterpiece 
Uh, Wes Anderson truly has created something that will go down in decades as a masterpiece just like Casablanca and Pulp Fiction had gone down in like movie history as great movies. So would Wes Anderson movies. Uh, he is one of the great directors of today and that is honestly why I think his movies work really well. If you have not seen any of his movies, check them out. Um, his The way he does movies is fantastic. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is a very quick review for movies that I really did enjoy. I'll be doing these type of videos of why it's a masterpiece. Um, I did that with The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and I'm not sure if I did it with another video, but um, yeah, this is why uh, Moonrise Kingdom is an absolute masterpiece. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy your day.